we've got our brand new item. This is our front apron that we made out of a vinyl wrap, self-installing, two-piece. It really gives the vehicle a 3D look. The front end, the nose, it's completely changed just by one piece of vinyl. So we'll take a look at that from different angles. RPM Tesla. We're finally making our installation video for the Tesla Model 3 front apron installation. Now this is matte black, super dark. It's going to help blend with that vent down there to make it look like a natural black part of the front spoiler lower apron as we call it. So let's get started to show everybody how easy this is to install and how it's designed and where to start and where to finish. So first thing is prep, prep, prep. Use alcohol, clean the whole front end off really good. We don't want to have any issues. And then we're gonna show you where to start. So obviously the top piece is the right side and this recessed indentation tells you where to start, where to put it. So after messing around with this many times, making different videos, this is the easiest way to do it. So just simply peel the decal off dry and let's get started. So once you peel it off, hold it with two hands like this, and let's aim for this piece up front. So I'm gonna loosely tack it down, and we're gonna shoot this in a wide angle so it doesn't hit the ground. And then we're gonna proceed to move over here to the point where it's gonna fit inside. So basically it's gonna fit like this, and if you stick it down, you can always peel it up. Don't worry about it. And we're going to start right here on this elbow. So we're going to position the elbow like this. And you want to make sure you're hiding all of the paint. So with your finger, you just feel the edge. You look straight down at a high angle and make sure that you are right on the edge covering up the paint. If you see paint here, peel it up, move it slightly over or inward until the paint is covered up. But don't cover up too much of the black. Try to look at it with some bright light and make sure you're in there good. We're gonna leave the front of this lifted up and go over it and over it and make sure that all the white paint is, is uh, correctly covered and we're not too far in here by the vent. So you can pull it up, put it back down. Don't worry about it. And again, leave the front loose in case we want to do any more manipulating. And if you need to pull this back, just pull it up. Don't hit the ground and place it right up on the white edge or the edge of your paint. Okay. So again, we designed this to make this corner, uh, you know, around three sixteenths or a quarter of an inch there from the radius so it's sitting nice and flat. Now, this is the alignment issue and the first slightly challenging part. With this air vent here that goes around the wheelbase, uh, we wanna line this up and we wanna stay nice and parallel to the white. So we suggest that you use your finger and you guide it and turn it. And again, don't worry if you have to readjust it and pull it up. So I'm gonna start like this and try to keep this kind of a border going. So notice that I'm about three quarters of an inch from the lip and I'm laying it down and I'm, I'm turning it as I go. So this piece is cut. If it was straight, you would have to manipulate it, but it's, it's designed here that it's gonna get further and further and further away from the white edge. So we start off here 
with about three quarters of an inch and it's going to get wider and it's designed to line up perfectly with the black shadowed area of the air inlet so lay it down like this this maybe turn a little bit see how i'm going left and right straight in covering up the edge okay now we're going to come back here and make sure that we're nice and consistent with the amount of material left over and then we're going to talk about where we're meeting up right here in the middle so again use your fingers on this i wouldn't worry about a squeegee but we think this is just work it down work it down i think this is a real nice distance we're going to put a lot of photos up again this is the matte black and we think it matches very nicely to hide itself with the black inside of the vent as you can see this is a plastic injection molded piece okay so half of it's done press it down so you can see half before and after okay now let's do the passenger size and get a nice tight joint here so we've prepped everything really good now let's peel it off and again let's start at the same spot without letting it touch the ground in the joint here and again you want to put right about a quarter inch and go all the way back to cover up the white and then just tack this down so we've got a great starting point alignment point just right there and then we're going to go across the back and you can see how easy it is if you're right over my shoulder looking downward you can see we're just going to stay on that line Okay, so as you can see, I'm kind of pivoting it here, making sure I'm on the black, not on the white. All the white's covered up. Press this down. And as we approach the joint, we want to make sure here that we're the same distance from the lip to the end of the vinyl while covering the white. So I'm going to put this down right here and looking at it from a high point of view, it looks good. Now just tacking it. down all right so now from a distance and with the right exposure you can see that I've got a nice consistent radius around the bumper and then now let's finish this for the final close-up so just take your under fog light piece and again we want to make sure we got a nice turn here a nice smooth radius even though we've curved it so I'm watching this area. This is key. And straight up into the air vent. And a nice high angle. You can see downward. Right where I'm going. So if you don't like it, if it's not lining up properly with this line here, just don't worry about it. Just pull it up. And turn, 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 turn right in the vent and there you have it now let's back up and get some shots and show you some of the angles and show you again why this looks so good we think is because of the blacked out apron it gives the car a flatter lower look it adds something to the front end instead of just being all white and most people can't see the vent but this brings the vent out and provides this plane. So anyway, we think it looks great. Self-installing, it'll stay on there until you take it off. You can put it over clear bra like I did. This is full paint protection film with Ceramic Pro right on top. Holds great. Thanks again, RPM Tesla. This has been shipping for a while, but now we made the video to show everyone how to install it. Thanks.